Yes, a week after a school bus crash on State Highway 21 left two people dead. One of the drivers involved is facing a criminal charge. Prosecutors charged Jerry Hernandez with criminally negligent homicide after the concrete pumper truck he was driving swerved into the lane of an oncoming school bus that was carrying students from Tom Green Elementary School. This is a photo of him from a previous arrest in Hayes County earlier this year. Tonight, KVU's Kelsey Sanchez is following up with an attorney for one of the victims of that crash about what comes next. The pain is still fresh at Tom Green Elementary. But keep in mind, there's some families that will never be able to put this behind them. As more details come to light about that fateful day, a truck slammed into this bus carrying more than 40 pre-K students. Jerry Hernandez, who was behind the wheel of the truck, was arrested and charged with criminally negligent homicide. Attorney Trey Gober, who represents one of the students hurt in the crash, says more charges may come. We have a driver who got behind the wheel of a vehicle, in this case a very large vehicle, uh, when they shouldn't have and caused very serious injuries to several people, both physically and mentally. Five-year-old Ulysses Rodriguez Montoya, who was on the bus, was killed. 33-year-old Ryan Wallace, driving the car behind it, was also killed. It's going to be an ongoing process for years, if not the lifetime of my clients. Hey, CISD officials released dash cam video from the bus. A warning, it may be tough to watch. The bus going west on SH-21 when the oncoming FJM concrete pumping truck swerved over. The bus tries to avoid it, but instantly rolls over before landing on its side. A week after the crash, families have been stopping here at Tom Green Elementary, dropping off flowers, balloons, and toys to show support for the victims. Gober saying for his client, every day will get better, but this crash will stay with the children and these families the rest of their lives. Before children left school for Easter weekend, the superintendent sent a letter out thanking everyone who played a part in showing that support, saying, quote, May you have rest and comfort this weekend, knowing that your Hayes CISD extended family is strong and united in supporting each other, end quote. In Buda, Kelsey Sanchez, KVU News. Kelsey, thank you. Now, according to DPS, Hernandez was also arrested on an unrelated charge of violating a bond condition out of Hayes County. We've requested, uh, requested court documents to learn more about the charges, uh, but Bastrop and Hayes County officials have not yet released them at this time. We've been digging into records connected to the concrete pumper involved in that crash. As we mentioned, it belonged to a company called FJM Concrete Pumping. The KV defenders checked the company's safety and inspection history for the company with the U.S. Department of Transportation. Records show no prior wrecks and no prior safety violations. But we've also been reaching out to the company itself for comments about the crash. We have not heard back. There are multiple fundraisers posted online to support victims of the crash and their families. If you'd like to help, we've got more information on our website, kv.com.